We'll begin our look of Magic players through history with the story of Juwan Oldham. The 1989-90 season was the first for the expansion Magic, and absent from the team photo here is number 50 Juwan Oldham. This is because Oldham wasn't picked up on a 10-day contract until late February, well after this photo was taken. In the Magic's inaugural season, they began with a front line of Dave Corzine at the centre position, Terry Catledge at power forward and Jerry Reynolds at small forward, all of whom will be featured in upcoming episodes on this channel. Corzine went down with a serious knee injury early in the season and Oldham was discussed at the time as a possible replacement. Instead though, the Magic decided to try a combination of Mark Akers at centre and played an undersized Sydney Green out of position. By February, an Otis Smith injury left the Magic with only 10 healthy players, so the Magic signed Oldham to a 10-day contract. Oldham had played eight seasons in the NBA with the Nuggets, Rockets, Bulls, Knicks and Kings, but had been playing in the CBA with the Santa Barbara Islanders during that season. In fact, Oldham played for the Islanders the night before his debut for the Magic. In his first game for the Magic against Cleveland, Oldham played fairly well. In 26 minutes, he grabbed 10 rebounds and blocked two shots. In Barry Cooper's post-game recap for the Orlando Sentinel, he said it was an admirable performance by Oldham, who had showed signs that he could fit in as a role player. In his two subsequent games for the team, however, Oldham played a total of only 10 minutes and was not re-signed when his 10-day contract expired. For Oldham's three-game Magic career, he averaged five rebounds, one block and 1.3 points in 12 minutes per game. After his stint with the Magic, Oldham linked up with the Lakers and the following season he played four games with the Pacers to finish his NBA career. Post-NBA, Oldham became an advocate for basketball in Asia and in the Middle East, helping develop leagues in Korea, China and Japan, as well as coaching there, before starting a basketball academy in the United Arab Emirates. I hope you enjoyed this look at one of the most obscure players from Orlando Magic history. Check back soon for more.